to out execute in team fights every They're starting time. Nash. Again. And to see them pivot away from that, to put Kana on a straight up team fight and carry, and Genji not really having an answer is a good look for T1. They're, they're look at hell. This is really fucking Earl, risky. He's got a nice ward there, but it did just expire. As we are waiting, and here we go. In comes the Wukong, but that Baron is getting so low, and you cannot deny the Olaf, and he will not be denied the Baron. As a massive shockwave, though, into the slicing maelstrom. Do they have the damage? Ruler's got a lot of room here. But it doesn't matter, the Wombo combo and the wallets are too big on the side of T1. They lose the Baron and they just barely eke out the fight. That's perfect for Genji, that's gonna give you so much more time. And as you point out, you can't deny Olaf. You can't flip it like that. You know exactly what's Why? going to happen. And crucially, Why? This Baron pick up Why are you forcing Nash? Denial of the ocean. Dragon's up in two yeah, minutes. The game is won. As they know this is happening, Clit just goes in, has of course the reckless swing combined with the smite, uses that very, very nicely. But then also, BDD just delaying Kana for a split second there by using the immediate. But why? Yeah. Like just genuinely, I, I don't want. Dude, I don't like being mad at teams. So much more time, and, and I'm the kind of guy who will overforce things in games. Well, I'm the kind of guy who will dive towers when I don't need to. No, but this, in a game three, when you're in full control, why? But 